Alright, welcome back YouTubers and Mad Fans. This is Mad Mice Shop bringing you part two of my preview for uh, Connected Franchise Mode. Uh, basically ranking all the teams from worst to first uh, as far as teams that, you know, I think are you know the most talented teams you guys would want to get if you got your choice to pick a team uh, to start a franchise mode or just to play rank matches as well because these are basically the same thing. If you guys want to see the next part tomorrow, do me a favor and hit the like button. If it hits 50 likes, I will put out the top 10 teams for CFM tomorrow. If you disagree with anything I say in the video, leave in the comment section. Be, par be prepared, though, for me to come back at you because I put a lot of thought in this video. Going to number 20, I got the Texans. Number one, they got Deshaun Watson. I don't know what this guy's going to look like, but he'll probably be a Madden favorite throughout the community because um, he's a mobile quarterback. Uh, Lamar Miller, running back, is really solid. Then you go to the receiving core. The receiving core is pretty loaded with DeAndre Hopkins, William Fuller, Jalen Strong. Uh, going to the defensive side, though, they're loaded with talent. Jadavion Clowney, who's, he's got to be just about everybody's favorite. He's way better than Madden than J.J. Watt, but J.J. Watt's on here. Uh, going to the uh, linebackers, uh, Bernard McKinney's pretty good. Uh, Whitney Marcellus is pretty good. Uh, secondary, they lost uh, A.J. Boye, but they still have um, some pretty good corners. Jonathan Joseph, Kevin Johnson, John Kareem Jackson, I think they re-signed last year. So now you got Andre Hall, free safety, dude with a 91 speed. The man, Lonnie Ball in time, that's what I like to call him because this dude is a monster. Dude, six foot three. Uh, anybody that knows, this dude is just an absolute savage. They have everything they need to start the year. Next up, we got the Chargers. This team right here is one of my real undercover teams. I would have loved to put them a lot higher, but I couldn't with, with good conscience put them any higher. But this is definitely a team I'm going to be rocking. Uh, Phillip Rivers is the only issue. I mean, he's not a quarterback anybody really wants. Melvin Gordon, monster running back uh, inside and outside. Kenyon Barner, one of my favorite running backs in this game. I keep telling people this guy. Uh, receiving core, though, this is where it's at. Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, Travis Benjamin is a speedster. Tyrell, Tyrell Williams is six foot four. Dontre in, in I can't even say his name. Six foot three. I mean, look at the height on your top five receivers. Then you go to the tight ends. Hunter Henry, six foot five, really good uh, rookie last year. Jeff Cumberland's eighty-seven speed. You got this really old man. Offensive line. Uh, is really nothing to be you know excited about going to the defense though they got some really good players joy bosa obviously a monster uh, the linebackers are pretty good though you got melvin ingram you can put him down as a defensive end you know you can do the same thing with jeremy Opto i can't say his name either but he's 86 speed jatavius brown 88 speed user middle linebacker yeah they got pretty good corners uh in casey hayward jason ferrat safeties are not really that great overall i mean this team just because of the the passing and the weapons around rivers you know what i'm saying get a, get a different quarterback and this is gonna be an outstanding offense coming number 18 we got the packers now we all know the packers live and die off of rogers that it's it's a team that really doesn't have a lot of talent they just have the man aaron Rodgers, and it gets them further than they should get uh, Aaron Rodgers, though, Brett Hundley, two really good quarterbacks. Uh, Ty Montgomery is the best running back. He's not really a running back, people. He's a receiver. You definitely need to pick up a running back, though. Uh, put him back to receiver. Jordy Nelson, Randall Cobb, Devontae Adams. Like I said, get that running back back to receiver. But they have a decent receiving core for sure. Uh, Martellis Bennett, not a huge fan of him. He's not really that fast, but he's six foot six and block. Uh, David Bakhtihari, they got a good offensive line, though. They did let a couple of guys go over the last couple of years. Brian Balaga, but they still have a lot of talent there. Some young talent, too. Uh, no real good defensive lineman in Madden. Nick Perry, he's pretty good. You can put him down on the line. No real great linebackers either. Clay Matthews, you know, that's about it. Uh, going to the secondary, they get a little bit better. Kevin King, I think his speed's gonna be a little bit higher than that, but he's a six foot three corner. Uh, whoever made this messed him up. He's not six foot two. He's six foot three and should be at least a 90 speed. He's gonna be a monster. Demarius Randall, pretty good. Uh, that's about it. Like I said, they're just kind of limited on, 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 on talent on the defensive side. Number 17, we got the Panthers. This is a team that took a real nosedive last year, but the talent's still there. Cam Newton, one of the best quarterbacks in the game. Running back-wise, they picked up McCaffrey. He's going to be a beast to pair with Jonathan Stewart. Split him out wide, make him a slot receiver. Darryl Young is one of the better fullbacks in the game. I don't really mention fullbacks very often, but he's worth mentioning. Calvin Benjamin, Devin Funches, height. Curtis Samuel, speed. You know what I'm saying? And Charles uh, Johnson's not too bad either. Greg Olson, awesome tight end. Offensive line's pretty good. They have some pretty good interior blockers. Charles Johnson, Julius Peppers, Mario Addison gives you some nice pass rushers. Kawan Short, Starla Tulele, decent defensive tackles. The linebackers are still way there. Shaq Thomas, Luke Cookley, I don't know what's going on with him. He might have a concussion syndrome or something. Thomas Davis Sr., really good outside linebacker, a little bit old. Uh, James Bradbury, Captain Munderland, and Daryl Worley, even uh, Zach Sanchez. You know what I'm saying? You can build some of these corners. They're all young uh, for the most part. Um, the safeties, though, not really there. I don't think they have any safeties worth anything. Uh, Desmond Southworth's probably the best one. I would definitely start him at six foot two with a 92 speed. All right, next up, we got the Patriots at number 16. I know this team's kind of low for a team that just won the Super Bowl and also improved their team in the offseason. 
But let's be honest. We all know this team gets by on Tom Brady's greatness and Bill Belichick's greatness. Other than that, this team is basically a bunch of lacrosse players and Popeye's chicken employees. So Tom Brady, I mean, you know, very accurate quarterback. Slow as an offensive lineman. So if you like mobile guys, he's not the guy for you. Jimmy Garoppolo is pretty good, though. Uh, moving on, Deion Lewis. You know, he's decent. They don't have any high-end speed guys. He's the best one at 90. No, you know, those running backs are just kind of average. James White's catching is probably outstanding now. Uh, Julian Edelman, 5'10". He actually plays really good. He plays way better than his height. Um, a really good player. Brandon Cooks is one of those main upgrades I was talking about. You had to do with legit speed to stretch the D or play nasty in the slot. It's really your choice. But that's about it. Chris Hogan is, is really overrated. So Rob Gronkowski, obviously one of the best tight ends in the game. Cover athlete last year. Dwayne Allen, a really good blocking uh, tight end. Uh, moving on to the line, they got a pretty good line, you know what I'm saying? Mostly their tackles are, are really solid. The defense is really where Belichick shows off. I mean, Coney Ealy, they just got not too impressive. Trey Flowers is really average. They really don't have any great uh, defensive linemen. Their linebackers are pretty uh, not so great either in Madden. When they had Jamie Collins, it was one thing. But now the, guy, the only really guy they have is Dante Hightower in the center. Uh, Malcolm Butler, though, Stefan Gilmore just added Eric Rowe. That's a really nasty secondary. Uh, it's going to be one of the better secondaries in the league, especially when you add Devin McCourty and uh, Deron Harmon's a pretty good safety. Chung's okay. So their secondary is probably going to be one of the best in the league, but otherwise, they're missing a lot along the way. Next up at 15, I got the Titans. The Titans are one of my favorite teams every year, year after year. They make the top half, not much higher. Marcus Mariota, like I said, people in Madden like mobile quarterbacks. Even if you don't run the ball a lot, you want that option. And Mariota is one of the fastest quarterbacks in the game. Then you got running backs for days, power running backs. DeMarco Murray, Derrick Henry, they got a good enough speed to work inside or outside. So they're deep there. Uh, then you go to the receivers. They're a little bit lacking, but they did just pick up Corey Davis, who I think was the best receiver in the draft. Taewon Taylor was another fast guy they got later in the draft. So they have some options there. Delaney Walker, really good tight end. Dual threat, blocking, receiving. Jay Samaro, good receiving tight end. Offensive line, one of the best in the league. Taylor Luan, uh, you can go across the whole thing. They're all 80 plus. Darrell Casey on the defensive line, one of the better defensive linemen in the game. Uh, not a lot after that. A couple of young guys. Kevin Dodd, uh, one of those young guys I mentioned. Derrick Henry, decent linebackers. Uh, Wesley Woodyard. Avery Wilson, they have some good linebackers. Whether you run a 4-3 or a 3-4, you can use these guys. So pretty solid front seven with Brian Arakpo as well. Uh, Logan Ryans, you know, he's the guy they brought in. He's okay. Dory Jackson they drafted. I don't know if he can play outside or not with his height. Uh, Jonathan Cyprian, I'm not sure if he's really a free safety, but uh, he's a, good, a pretty good safety. And then Denora Cersei is okay if you put him in a strong. So they're, they're pretty solid. You can fill out a roster with them. That's what makes these guys, what makes these teams rise up my list is their holes in their lineup. And I think you can fill out a pretty good lineup with the Titans right out the gate. Next up at 14, I got the Dolphins. The Dol Ryan Tannehill is a perfect Madden quarterback. He's got speed. He's got good accuracies. I think his throwing throwing them could be a little bit better. Or maybe it was his deep accuracy is not that great. Either way, they definitely have a quarterback that, they, that you can use. Jay Ajahi had a really good year last year. Uh, mostly an inside running back, a power back. Uh, receivers are pretty loaded. Jarvis Landry, excellent slot guy. I don't know if he's an outside guy. Devontae Parker, six foot three. Kenny Stills, guy you can put outside, just send him deep every play, stretch the field. Um, so they're really solid there. And then they also got a rookie by the name of Jakeem Grant. Not tall, but he's definitely fast, so he's somebody to watch out for, stretching the D. Uh, then you go to the tight ends. And if it sounds really just a blocking guy, but they traded for Julius Thomas, so now they have a legit receiving tight end. They have some good young linemen, but definitely guys you can work out quick because they're all young. Cameron Wake uh, on the defensive line, still good. William Hayes, Andre Branch had a really breakout year last year. They also drafted um, Charles Harris in the first round. So they have defensive ends for days. Uh, you know, defensive tackle, really only having Dominic and Sue. Kiko Alonso, a pretty good player. Um, you know, they, they do have Brandon Watts they brought in. I would use their linebacker, him in the middle, and, and, and put these uh, slower... Uh, more established linebackers to the outside. And then you got uh, decent corners uh, with Byron Maxwell. I think Xavier, Xavier, Xavier Howard is a really good player, a good young uh, corner to work up. Um, I'm not sure about any of these other guys. Tippett, though, six foot three, not really that fast, but at that size, he's worth putting in the, in the starting lineup somewhere. Uh, safeties, they're, they're lacking a little bit with the exception of Rashad Jones. Uh, TJ McDonald, though, I mean, he's probably a guy you could start at the other safety spot with the 6'2 and 87 speed. That's definitely workable. 
Coming in number 13, I got the Browns. I know what people are probably going to think. I mean, the Browns have had a long history of being really intriguing Madden teams compared to really bad NFL teams. A couple years back when they had Johnny Manziel, Josh Gordon, everybody wanted the Browns. They're kind of back on that level with the quarterback they drafted in the second round, Deshaun Kaiser. Um, he's an easy guy to work up. The running backs, they don't look spectacular, but Duke Johnson Jr. is actually pretty good. Darius Jackson's a monster if you don't know who this guy is. A 92 speed. Uh, all these guys, I mean, they're all good speed. They're all around 90 speed. They're all decent players. Players. So in my opinion, they have really good running backs. Uh, moving on to the receivers, Kenny Britt, they bring over nothing spectacular, but he's six foot three. Uh, Corey Coleman, perfect for the slot. Josh Gordon still on the roster. We'll see if he's in the game next year. I really don't know. You know what I'm saying? That's your three starting receivers. Then they got a good tight end and David and I don't know how to say his name, but he's um, you know first round pick, good player. The offensive line they went out and signed some guys. Their offensive line is probably going to be one of the best offensive lines in the league. Look at all these 80 overalls. Their whole offense is really stud. All you got to do is work up that young quarterback, and it's typically easier to do in franchise mode. So then you go to the defensive line. Uh, you got Agba here. I'm Agua, rookie from last year, 85 speed. You can work with that. Miles Garrett, number one pick. You know he's going to be a monster. Uh, defensive tackle, Shelton, really just a guy that holds down the run. Not too bad, though. Uh, Caleb Brantley, I think, was a decent pick, too. So you can work him up. Jamie Collins, Jr., linebacker. Carl Nassib, uh, a rookie from last year. These are all guys you can work up relatively easily. Christian Kirksey. Demario Davis is a speedster. Uh, then you go to the secondary. Jason McCourty, Joe Hayden, Jamar Taylor had a good year last year, a bounce back year. So you got your three corners right there. Marcus Burley is another guy I really like. He used to be a uh, cornerback for Seattle. Look at that speed. Now, safety spots are a little bit weak, but then you got Jabril, Jabril Peppers, who was a first round pick. And then you can see all the speed that these guys have. Next up at number 12, I got the Redskins. Here's a team that might take a step back in real life, but I really think they did a good job of improving their team. I just think they might have some issues behind the scenes, plus some chemistry issues might make them take a step back this year. But Kirk Cousins is a solid. He has enough mobility that, that you can move on him if you have to. Uh, the running backs, Robert Kelly came out of nowhere last year, had a really good year. Chris Thompson gives you that speed option. They still have Keith Marshall, a guy who got hurt last year, but he's going to be one of the faster players uh, on this team, especially in the backfield. You can definitely work with him. Um, and then Samaje Perrine, a, a pounder off of uh, their draft. I don't think he's going to be very fast, though. That's the only problem. But he might be a really good inside option. And then you got Terrell Pryor. They brought over one of my favorite receivers in this game, too, by the way. Crowder is a good slot guy. Brian Quick they brought in. I think uh, he's, he's a really sleepy uh, good receiver, Brian Quick. I've used him quite a bit. Josh Doxson, solid uh, rookie from last year. So you have a couple guys there that you can, uh, you have at least four wide receivers. And then the tight ends are loaded. Jordan Reed, Vernon Davis, Niles Paul, Derek Carrier, all these guys are starter quality because they got great speed and great receivers. I would actually trade Jordan Reed, get the best thing you can, and start one of these other guys um, if you if you have this team in the franchise. Their offensive line solid, mostly on the outside uh, with Trent Williams and Morgan Moses. Brandon Schrape's pretty good too. Uh, then you go to the defensive line. I'm not a huge fan of any of these linemen, with the exception of Jonathan Allen. I think he'll be a, probably the best out of all of them on the defensive line. Um, linebackers are pretty good. Ryan Kerrigan, uh, they drafted Ryan Anderson. Let's we'll see how he looks. He's a second-round pick, so he should be pretty good. Uh, Zach Brown's one of my favorite middle linebackers to use, man. He's a beast. And then they got uh, Preston Smith is a really good outside pass rusher. You can put him at defensive end. Uh, Josh Norman, really good cornerback, obviously. And then Fabian Moreau, that guy should be a really good cornerback. They picked him up uh, late last year. Quinn Dunbar is one of my favorite sleeper corners, too, man. Y'all need to check him out. Six foot two, 91 uh, speed. He's a monster. Uh, Kyle Fuller's, or Kendall Fuller's pretty good, too. I mean, this is a loaded team. And then Rashad Breeland, he's more like a slot corner, like a decent slot corner. Coming up next at 11, we got the Denver Broncos. This is a team that won the Super Bowl two years ago now. Um, they still got an amazing defense. It's just kind of hurting from the quarterback situation. But they got two young quarterbacks. You can choose which one you like. Try to work them up. It shouldn't be too hard. I'd probably go with Paxton Lynch. Uh, then they signed Jamal Charles. I mean, he, I don't know what his injury rating is going to be, but he's a monster. Uh, C.J. Anderson, you know what I'm saying? Nice pounder to compliment. They got a great two-back system there. Uh, receivers, Manuel Sanders, Demarius Thomas. Uh, tight end Virgil Green's nice. Uh, solid receiver, Garrett Bowles. They upgraded the line. Garrett Bowles right there, first round pick. Matt Paredes is pretty good. They, they picked up Ronald Leary. And then on the defense, this is where they shine, man. You got you got Derek Wolf, Vaughn Miller, Shaquille Barrett. You put one of these guys at defensive end to fill that spot. Brandon Marshall, uh, Shane Bray. You know what I'm saying? They have some really good um, pass rushing options. And then obviously in the secondary is where they really shine the most. Akeem Tlaib, Chris Harris, and uh, Bradley Roby. All really good. Uh, corners. You got three deep of Pro Bowl caliber, cor caliber corners. Uh, Darian Stewart's pretty good. Um, I think Justin Simmons, there, that rookie that they got, is probably going to be real, a real mad stud too. Six foot two, 88 speed is what's shown here. Uh, TJ Ward, a real good player, getting a little bit older now, but he's a real hit sticking machine. 
All right, so that's it for video number two. If you guys want to see the top 10 teams, if your team hasn't been called yet, or you, you know, the team that you think is the team that you want is still out there, top 10 teams next. Just hit the like button. If it hits 50 likes, I will put that out tomorrow. Other than that, thanks for watching Mad Money Shut Out. Hey, you made it to the end of the video, which means either you like the content you're watching or you fell asleep halfway through. Either way, if you hit the subscribe button, you can catch all my videos now releasing daily. Thanks for watching.